bright duty every student matters hello dear students welcome to another lecture in this class we are going to continue with the grammar topic tenses of class 11th alternative english nagal and four now in the previous lecture i had talked about the simple present present continuous present perfect present perfect continuous simple past past perfect past continuous and the past perfect continuous tenses in this class we shall begin with the future tense now future tense also has got four form first is the simple future tense what is the structure of the simple future tense we have the subject plus will and the first form of the verb another structure of the simple future tense is subject plus be going to and the first form of the verb for example he will study he is going to study she will dance she is going to dance they will prepare they are going to prepare okay now when do we use the simple future tense the first usage of the simple future tense is to talk about a future event when you are predicting a future event we use the simple future tense for example i think it is going to rain in the evening or i think it will rain in the evening when you are talking about some action that will take place in the future but it is voluntary in nature you are going to do it willingly i will help you clean the room i am going to help you to clean the room when you want to talk about either the willingness or the unwillingness to say i will come for the party i will not come for the party or i am going to come for the party i am not going to come for the next when you have to make a promise to somebody i will help you i will meet you i will talk to you we use the simple future tense when you have to give orders to somebody you will complete your work till the time i come back you will not open the door to strangers you will talk to everybody nicely so these are the ways in which we use the simple future tense next is the future continuous tense what is the structure of the simple con future continuous tense will be plus the ing form of the verb she will be going to amritsar they will be returning next week i will be learning a new language and so on and so forth and if we talk about a question then will plus subject plus be and the ing form of the verb will he be returning home on time will they be learning this project well will you be helping me in the work and so on and so forth now when do we use the future continuous tense first when you are talking about a longer future action that will be interrupted by a shorter future action so there are two actions basically that you are talking about one is long and one is short when you know that the longer action will be interrupted by the shorter action we use the future continuous tense for example he will be performing on the stage when we arrive what are the two actions performing and arriving on the stage longer action is performing and what is the shorter action that we arrive on the stage so the longer action got interrupted by the shorter 
they will be eating food when we knock the door they will be playing cricket when we enter the room okay second use of the future continuous tense is to talk about two future actions taking place at the same time i will be going out for a film and he will be cooking dinner i will be talking to my friend and he will be watching television okay next when we talk about an action that will be in progress at a specific time in the future so you know when the action will be in progress in the future this time tomorrow morning he will be sleeping this time tomorrow evening i will be packing my bag this time next month we will be shifting to a new house so to talk about some action you know when the action will take place at a specific time in future next to ask for an information in a polite way will you be needing any help will you be studying alone will you be helping your mother and so so next we have the future perfect tense how do we frame a sentence with the future perfect tense subject plus will have plus the past participle form of the verb will have completed will have slept will have done will have found and so on and so forth what are the uses of the future perfect tense to talk about an action that will be finished by the time or by a particular time in the future in 5 years i will have completed my college in 10 years from now i will have become a successful man by tomorrow i will have completed my project so this is how we use the future perfect tense okay now at times by and in are used with the future perfect tense so will have completed the work by 6 pm tomorrow will have done the project in a week's time so we use by and in with the future perfect tense okay let us solve the questions based on this tense type write the tense form of the sentences so you are given with five sentences and we have to write the tense form I am going to help you finish this the science project. I am going to help you. So this is simple future. I will have completed 5 years in this city. Will have completed. So this is future perfect tense. i will help you mow the grass will help again simple future i will be feeling better tomorrow so future continuous tense i will have grown taller by the time i am 18 will have grown taller again future perfect okay the next question is fill in the blanks with the correct form of the verb given in the bracket look at the sky i think it will rain soon or it is going to rain soon you dash about ancient india in tomorrow's class you will write or you are going to write about ancient india in tomorrow's class at her current pace she will have read 
all the Ruskin bonds group. Some of my close friends dash New Delhi during this time next year. During this time next year, so will be visiting. You dash the art of canvas painting by the time you complete the course. You will have excelled. Excelled means to work very good or to become better at something. Okay. So this was the future tense, my dear students. Now let us discuss about the three types of conditional tenses. We have the present conditional, hypothetical conditional and the past conditional tense. Now the conditional tenses will always have if in them. But the structure is going to be different. If I talk about the present conditional tense, this is that tense form in which if sentences are used to talk about the consequence of a condition that is possible and is likely to fulfill. If you are talking about a condition, which you think is possible and can even get fulfilled, we use the present conditional tense. If I study hard or if I study hard, if I say I will score better in my exams. If I keep quiet, my mother will give me a chocolate. If sentences and you know that the chances of the fulfillment of these conditions is very much positive. It is possible. If you study hard, you will surely succeed. If you will keep quiet, your mother will give you a chocolate. So, for present conditional tenses are those which use if sentences to talk about a consequence about a result that is very much likely to be fulfilled. What is the structure of the present conditional tense? If plus the simple present and then we use will plus the base form. of will. If I study hard, as I said, if I study Study hard, comma, I will score well. The other form of the sentence, the other way in which we can form a present conditional tense, the other way around. I will score well, comma, if I study hard. So you see, both the sentences are correct. The essence of both the sentences are correct. Only the situations or the usage has been made other way. Let us look at some of the examples given in your book. If I have no work tomorrow, I will come for the film. This again is a situation which can be fulfilled. That if there is no work, I will come for the film. I will walk to school if the weather is pleasant. If the weather is pleasant, I will walk to school. You can use it the other way around as well. If I spend all this money, I will have nothing to eat. I will ask mother to drop me if I miss the school. So present conditional tenses are those which use if sentence to talk about a consequence, a result that is very likely to be fulfilled. And the structure, if plus the simple present tense and comma, the will plus the base form. Let us solve a few questions based on it to understand it better. Choose the correct form to complete the sentences. She dashed to the principal if you bully her. If you bully her. So, if plus first form is given. 
so she will complain will form will come if you dash on a summer vacation this evening you will miss the school camp so will sentence is already given so i simply need to write the present tense if you go to the summer vacation you will miss the school camp If you hire a travel guide you will enjoy the place more I will go to my hometown if I get a midweek holiday I dash my flight if it rains today so I will cancel my flight if it rains today read the conditions and write the sentences you know the if conditionals Weather is pleasant. So if I say, I will go out if the weather is pleasant. Next is write clearly. If you write clearly. you will get better marks more free time i will watch a movie comma if i get more free time behave properly if you behave properly you will get a reward all goes well if all goes well i will buy a new so you see it was so easy for us to frame sentences for the present condition next question is underline the tense errors and correct them If you will play for our hockey team we will surely win no if you play for our hockey team we will surely win the children will be more interested if you will begin the session with the story the children will be more interested if you begin the session with the story I buy the film DVDs if they will cost less than thousand. No, I will buy film DVDs if they cost less than thousand. If you solve the riddle in less than a minute, you will win the game. If he comes boy back home on time, he will eat dinner with us. Okay. so this was the present conditional tense the next one is hypothetical conditional tense hypothetical conditional tense is used in those if sentences in which what you are talking about or what you are thinking about is unlikely to happen and unlikely to be fulfilled so there are no chances of you to get something even if the condition is satisfied that means what you are wanting what you are desiring will never get fulfilled no matter what what is the structure of such sentences if plus the simple past and then we have would plus the base form of the verb for example if i worked hard comma i would score 
there. This is something that can now not get fulfilled. This is something that has taken place in the past. If I would have worked hard, I would have scored well for sure. But I didn't. So for me to repeat or to come out of the error that I have made is not possible. The other way of writing, as I said, as we learn for the present conditional also, I would score well, comma, if I worked. Okay. Let us look at some of the examples given in your book. If I was still in school, I would do all the things I missed. Just look at the sentence in itself and try to understand. You are talking about something which cannot be fulfilled now. You cannot go back to your school no matter what happens. So if I was still in school, I would do all the things I missed. I would invite her for the party if I knew where she lived. So you didn't. You don't know where she lives and so you could not invite her for the party. If father was here, he would solve the puzzle in a jiffy. In a jiffy means within a few seconds. She would give us some advice if she came to school today. But she hasn't. So she cannot give you an advice. So, hypothetical sentences, hypothetical conditional sentences are those fulfillment of which is totally impossible. So, those are the hypothetical conditional sentences. Let us look at the questions now and try and solve them. Choose the correct form to complete the sentences. If you dash a sister, you would have a best friend for life. So, you would have is there. So, if you had a sister, you would be a best friend for life. If you lived on the moon, you would weigh lesser than you do here. I would buy a big beach umbrella if it rained on the day of the fair. Earth would be a better place to live in if humans loved each other more. If each weekend was three days long, I would go to the hills every week. Okay. The next question asks you to complete the sentences. The situation is given to you. Everyone is always healthy. So, if... Everyone was always healthy, comma, there would be no hospitals. But this is something which is not possible. Not everybody can be healthy every time. Born in Japan. If I was Born in Japan, comma, I would be a Japanese. Okay, let us take a very lame sentence. So you were not born in Japan, so you're not a Japanese. More money, I would. Buy a new house, comma, if I had more money. Water used to drive cars. If we used water to drive cars, comma, there would be no pollution. 
won a lottery i would buy a castle if i won a lottery okay the next question says underline the errors and correct them if i became the president i would declare my birthday a national holiday that you would not uh, become a president i would buy the bag if it was not made of leather if i was born in arabia i would know arabic this is correct if you would know me better if you knew me better you would never say a thing like that there would be lesser traffic on roads if some humans moved to mars All right the last type of conditionals are the past perfect conditional sentences those sentences in which we talk of the imaginary past situations something that one could have done you know if the situation was different then the fulfillment of that was possible you see in the present conditional the fulfillment is still possible in the past conditional the fulfillment was possible if the situation was different but in the hypothetical conditional the fulfillment is not possible no matter how hard you try let us look at the structure of the sentence how do we frame this if plus the past perfect tense plus would could might plus have and the past past participle form of the verb for example if i had gone to canada let's say i would have been more successful so this would have been possible it was possible for you to fulfill this situation only the time is not now the other way as we've been doing i would have been more successful if i had gone to so we use if plus the past perfect tense that is had and the past participle form the next sentence will have would could or might plus have and the past participle form let us look at the sentences the examples given in your book if they had come to this part of the hills they would have died in the landslide so it was possible for them to have died in the landslide if they had come to this part of the hill but it got saved the situation is now good she could have become an athlete if she had joined the academy earlier again there was a possibility for her to become an athlete if she would have joined the academy earlier if you had not mumbled the little girl could have given you the right thing if you had agreed to meet him you might have liked each other. so the fulfillment of this condition was possible but now the time has gone this is the only difference let us look at the questions on the basis of it choose the correct option if she dash attention in the class she would have known the answer so if she had paid attention in the class she would have known the answer I dash the destination on time if you had given me the right direction 
I could have reached the destination of time if you had given me the right direction. If you had not stayed awake all night, you would have woken up early. I dash more robust if I had been born in the ill. So I might have been more robust if I had been born in the ill. If she dashed me about the assignment, I would have submitted earlier. If she had told me about the assignment, I would have submitted it earlier. Now again, try read the sentences and you have to write the sentence, complete the sentence. I will just verbally discuss with you because the space is not appropriate for me to write the entire sentence for you. So, I had travelled around the world. I would have travelled around the world if I had more money, okay? had gone to bed early. If I had gone to bed early, I would have woken up early and seen the rising sun. Then we have eaten the food slowly. If I had eaten food slowly, I might have not got it choked in my throat, acted wisely. If I had acted wisely, I could have been in a better college. Had stopped at the red light. If I had stopped at the red light, I could have saved from the, could have saved myself from the fine. Okay, underline the tense errors and correct them in the space provided. If I would have read this book as a child, I had enjoyed it more. The clothes would have still been wet if you would have not hung them outside. The clothes would still have been wet if you had not hung them outside. If the roads had been clear, we could have reached sooner. If the police had investigated carefully, the criminal would have been in prison. If they had come sooner, they could have enjoyed the party games. So, my dear students, in this chapter, that is tenses, we learnt about the different types of tenses, namely the present, the past, the future. We talked about the present perfect tense, the present perfect continuous tense, the usage of all the tense, and at the end of it, we also learned about the conditional tenses, the present conditional, the hypothetical conditional and the past conditional, as well as the structure, the sentence structure of each one of them. And with this, we come to the end of this chapter. I hope the topic was clear to you.